Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin in 1793. This resulted in increased production in the factories. In addition, it made manufacturing faster and cheaper. In 1793, at the time George Washington took the oath of office for president a second time, the Rhode Island factory seen here was already into its third year of operation. It was the first factory in America to use water-powered machines to spin cotton thread for weaving. Yet even though the demand for cotton cloth was great back then, cotton had not been very widely used in textiles. That was because cotton fibers are contained in the plant's seed pods, and before the fiber can be spun into thread, the seeds must be removed. Cleaning cotton is a very slow process when done by hand. But after 1793, the year Eli Whitney of Connecticut invented a machine called the cotton gin, simply by turning a crank, it was possible to remove as many seeds from raw cotton in a single day as 50 people could do using just their hands. The cotton gin made the removal of seeds from cotton faster and easier, so the clean cotton could then be used to spin thread. This made work in the factory simpler. The modern clothing industry would be completely different without the invention of the cotton gin, a revolutionary machine that prepares cotton for spinning. Each cotton bowl contains many seeds surrounded by lint, a downy fiber that can be spun into yarn or thread. The invention of the cotton gin was a segue into the invention of interchangeable parts, which further revolutionized production means in American factories. Besides inventing the cotton gin, Eli Whitney also came up with a new method of making things that helped revolutionize manufacturing. That was the idea of having interchangeable parts. Before the Industrial Revolution, each tool or machine was made by hand, one at a time. In fact, an important job of the blacksmith in pre-industrial times was to make replacement parts when a piece of equipment got broken, which was a very time-consuming process. For example, if a lock like this one stopped working, it was not possible to fix it with off-the-shelf parts, because each lock was one of a kind and its parts could not be interchanged. The situation began to change in 1798 when Eli Whitney got an order from the U.S. government for 10,000 rifles that needed to be delivered in a very short period of time. To meet the deadline, he developed a method of manufacturing guns that were nearly identical to one another, so that a part for one rifle would work in any other rifle of the same kind. Making interchangeable parts not only sped up the manufacturing process for the rifles. If they failed to shoot, it made fixing them a lot quicker and easier to do. Whitney's method of using interchangeable parts was a big step forward in manufacturing. Interchangeable parts made repairing and making numbers of the same product much easier. In addition to repairs and manufacturing, interchangeable parts had a worldwide effect by making army equipment uniform, so fixing weapons in battle could take up less time and money. In conclusion, Eli Whitney played a major role in revolutionizing industry and means production with his inventions of the cotton gin and interchangeable parts. His mechanical genius led to the mass cotton market and textile industry. <laughs>